takes me by the hand and drags me into her dressing room in the Vienna Opera House. She undoes my tie with her teeth. She kills the champagne, but before she can pop open the bottle, you Vienna and backstage. Simon McKay patented his first invention when he was seven years old. The Soviets still haven't even equaled the hardware he designed for the Pentagon. Uh, McKay hasn't worked for the... Why do we still provide security for him? He carries out assignments for us from time to time, and we don't want him jeopardized. Assignments, Ed? The guy's a toy maker. And here between 78 and 84. What went down between Warland and Toyland? He vanished. Disappeared. Maybe he went to the North Pole to learn his new trade. Ed, come on. Why am I being punished? Did I put in for too high of an expense account? Is that it? Henderson did, but got himself poisoned. You can never trust food. I never trust food unless my mother makes it. And, and then I feed some to the dog first. Well, that's why you're the perfect replacement. Also because Darcy Stafford was Henderson's partner, now she'll be yours. What? Oh, man, I was right. This is punishment. You recruited her. Recruited her? <laughs> Ed, that woman is out to get every thrill she can. I believe she joined me. Linda, none of this makes sense. If a guy is this important, he can't just vanish for six years. When the best intelligence agencies in the world can't find someone, he's vanished. But Simon McKay turned up. He won't say where he was, and at the moment, that doesn't matter. I don't care if he is one of Santa's elves. He's also the inventive genius of our time. So you make damn sure you don't let him fall in the wrong hands. I'll be in touch.
innocent for you, right? Oh, no. Yeah, if you, if you don't count hallucinating. I'm very sorry. I've got a handkerchief here somewhere. Very sorry. Simon McKay, meet Alex Jagger. You'll have to excuse his reckless abandon. He has a habit of diving into assignments. Oh. What do you two want to tell me who or what that was walking around in here? <laughs> Simon. It's just a little piece of candy. You said you wanted to cut down on sweets and that only a fool can't control bad habits. Anyone can be a fool five minutes in a day. Wisdom comes from knowing when not to exceed the limit. Now think how wise you'll be. Oh, I see. Ow! <laughs> Alex! Post about childhood, Alex. Nothing. I hated being little. Nothing personal. Yeah, but you must have liked playing games. I mean, uh, hide and seek. Yeah, well, where I grew up, you played hide and seek just to get home alive. Oh, I know what that's like. Liverpool docks. You see, when I was a child, my parents knew I wasn't going to grow up, so they decided I should grow fast. They put me out to sea to work as a cabin boy. But I missed my... Because during childhood, you learn the important things in life. The wonders of life should never be missed or hated. Now, you wanted to know who or what that was? I'll show you. Well, what do you think? This is my latest toy I'm working on. It's a mobile hologram projector. You see, any child that's on its own, he can play hide and seek with it, tag, anything his imagination can conjure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now this is starting to make some sense. Toys. Toy maker. This is a front for a covert research and development operation. Well, that's why Linda assigned me here. Jeez. Alex, this is a toy and Simon's a toy maker. You see, we're traveling too fast for a round world. We're soon going to end up in a giant rear-end collision. We won't even know what hit us. What I do is far more important than any covert operation. All right, Simon, what is it that you do? I keep magic alive. That must be the Starlight people. It's a pleasure having you here, Alex. Relax, Jagger. You're in for the time of your life. I was having the time of my life. And, and who are the Starlight people? The Starlight Foundation. They grant wishes for critically ill kids. A boy with leukemia had the wish to meet the wizard. That's nice. Hmm. Getting him to Hong Kong may become a serious problem. Do you actually believe you can auction off Simon McKay to the highest bidder? He is in demand. Would you procure him for me, Mr. Neff? And I will persuade him to use his technology on more important things than toys. <laughs> Fantasy's gone berserk. 
Now tell me what you've been doing. Simon, it's awesome. I can't believe it. It's unreal. Uh, how you doing? I made a polymer with uh, urethanes and diacyrates. Well, anyway, I spilled some water on it, and it triggered a chemical expansion. It just kept puffing up and puffing up. Well, anyway, uh, I made some ladies out of it. But it can be anything. Simon, we can market it. Puff foam. Huh? How's that for a name? That's great, Jack. <laughs> Uh, everybody, this is my occasional assistant, uh, Jack Brooks. Simon, I'm telling you, this could be the biggest thing since Play-Doh, Silly Putty, or even Slime. Jack, let's talk about your perception of women. <laughs> now, Brian, if Jack doesn't get squashed by his experiments, one day he'll be a brilliant scientist. But even he can't help me develop my latest toy. I think you can. Do you want to try? Try. Let's go. Sorry, everyone but Brian has to wait out here. Right, over here. That where you keep the new toy, locked in there? This isn't where I keep my inventions, this is my inspiration. Candy or cookie? Candy. Now, one for you, and one for me. But please don't tell Darcy. Okay. I'm trying to give them up. Some people have a sweet tooth. I seem to have a mouthful of them. I think it's because I wasn't allowed to eat candy when I was little. Now, just sit down here on this chair. Stay there. Simon? Mm hmm What's it like being little? I mean, grown up, but not... I think I know what you mean. The thing is, I don't think about being small. Unless something happens to remind me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Don't worry about it. You don't measure a person by their height. It's the size of their heart that really matters. And you know, we've all got something in common. What's that? We're all different. Now, I want you to try this on. And um, do the chin strap up really tight. It's going to be impossible for me to ever get big either. I'm not going to live long enough to... Brian, nothing is impossible. Anything you can imagine can happen. Now, you see that helicopter over there? Yeah. I want you to make it fly all around the room. Okay. How? Just imagine you're the pilot. I can't make it fly by imagining it. How do you know until you've tried? This is a remote controller. I designed it myself. You can use it without hands. Your mind's much stronger than you think. All you've got to do is set it free, and anything can happen. Now, go on. Close your eyes, and imagine you're the helicopter pilot. Okay? You don't have to try. Just dream. Dream it taking off. Dream it soaring all around the room. Okay, keep your eyes open. Just let it happen. You did it once, you can do it again.
I just want to thank you so much for letting Brian come and visit you like this. It's really been like a dream come true. Well, he's a very special boy. Very special. Is he an only child? Well, yes and no. You might say I've had two only children. Two only children? Yes, Brian's brother, Douglas, was already 22 and living away from home when Brian was born. Brian was an unexpected blessing. Have you uh, spoken to his doctors about um, a possible bone marrow transplant from his brother? Yes, bone marrow transplant from a sibling. What is it, Rachel? Well, Douglas is an archaeology professor. Unfortunately, never the classroom type. And about ten months ago, he went to South America to look for some lost city. Nobody even knows if it's real or a legend. We tried everything to find it. Our embassies, the State Department, universities, missionaries, even revolutionaries. I keep praying that he'll write to us or call us. Did he ever mention the name of the city? Was it uh, Maribica, Rome, El Dorado? Do any of those sound familiar? No, he never said the name. Did the doctor say how long Brian... It's a matter of days before he'll be too weak for the operation at all. Rachel, don't give up hope. Don't let Brian give up hope. Even if you exhaust every medical option, there are forces in nature that uh, even science doesn't understand. There are powers within us that can work miracles. Well, Simon, I keep praying for that miracle. We haven't got much time. Darcy, phone Chester Howard. Tell him we're going to need to use his plane again and get Linda to arrange blanket visas for uh, South America. There's no way I'm letting you wander all over South America, and I don't care how idealistic your reason is. Alex, an idealist is someone who thinks because a rose smells better than a cabbage, it'll make better soup. I am not an idealist. What I am is a private citizen, free to go wherever I want. Now, if you two want to help me find Douglas Wayne, fine. If not, I'll see you when I get back. Simon! You can't just go running off without knowing where you're going. We're going out the front door. That's the hardest part of any journey. After that, I promise I'll let you know as soon as I do, if you're along. Simon! Simon! I found your camera. That's great, Jack. I've got no more room in here. Listen, lose it to the next trip, OK? What is this? This is my stuff. What do you mean, stuff? My clothes. It's ridiculous. What is that? Your favorite. Ah. Ah. Darcy! Ah. Darcy! Don't worry, Simon. I'll save you. Simon, I just thought that... Okay, Jack. I'm all right now. I'm not lugging that thing through the jungle. Don't pile. worry. It's my bag. I'll carry it. You lift this baby off the floor, and I'll carry both you and it. I might take you up on that sometime. <laughs> Come on, Darcy, let's go. You've let yourself get out of shape. It's sad. Come here, kid. What's the trick? Oh, no trick. Simon just put liquid helium pouches inside, release the gas, and it counterbalances the weight. <laughs> I designed the release. Bye. Good luck. Bye, Jack.
Turn left at the next block, would you? Mm-hmm. How long have they been there? Long enough not to be a coincidence. Proven. gone back. Found out who they were. We radioed Linda. He'll follow up. Yeah, but it's our responsibility. Simon's safety is our responsibility. Here it is. Here it is. El Dorado. Douglas Wayne has to be here. How can you be so sure? Well, it's 80% information and 20% instinct. Trust me. So where is this El Dorado, Simon? Well, nobody's really sure. The Chipcha Indians tell of an ancient tribe who used to smear their chief with gold and throw him in a lake along with priceless offerings. And the story goes, if anyone tries to remove the offerings, El Hombre Dorado, the golden man, will rise up out of the water and kill them all. Previous expeditions have looked at Lake Guatavita, but if I were Douglas Wayne, I would look here at Lake Tufa.
Francis Fisher in the bottom of the lake, and, and this golden light exploded like the sun. El Dorado. Everything. Civilization, the culture. Yeah. Right here. Right where I thought. Uh, you got any, any more of these artifacts? Uh... Yes, yes. Hundreds, hundreds. Your National Museum owes you a great debt, Senor Ray. As do I. Without your backing, your support, I never would have been here. It's a fantastic emerald. <laughs> this is a fantastic emerald. Uh, Senor Ray, be, uh, be careful. It's very fragile. Uh, that, that's uh, an archaeological treasure, sir. I, I said leave it alone. <laughs> Let me go. What's going on here? Ray, don't! Attached to that is an archaeological treasure. Attached to me, it is my treasure. Yeah, sir. for those six years? Huh. Here and there. The world's top missing persons experts couldn't find you. I'm good at hide and seek. You're small, but you're not that small. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Simon, how are we gonna work together if you won't trust me? Alex, the Pentagon has five sides, and I suddenly found myself opposite most of them. I needed time to get my priorities straight. I took some time off. Simon. Please tell me this won't cause a rash. No, you made an excellent choice, Darcy. <sighs> and dinner is ready. You love to be a mystery, don't you? Listen, famous philosopher Popeye once said, I am what I am, and that's all that I am. Let's eat, huh? I really don't think the society page photographers are going to show up tonight. Good manners apply no matter where you are. Did you wash your hands? I don't eat with my hands. Oh, really? Since when? The Chinese have a saying, never remove a fly from your friend's forehead with a hatchet. What is this stuff? It's good. Eat it. Tell me what it is first. Come on, taste it. This is the best food in the world, mm -hmm. especially with my cooking. Go and try some, just for me. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. Crisp on the outside, chewy and moist on the inside. It's really, it's very good. Now tell me, what, what is it? It's a uh, kind of potato. Good. Kind of a what? Sautéed potato. Sautéed potato what? Bug. If you don't picture it, it'll be fine. Protein drink. <clears throat> what kind of protein? What difference does it make? I want to know what kind of protein it is. What kind of protein? It's a leech. <laughs> Darcy, you know, uh, I think I'd better dig up something a little less exotic if uh, if Alex is going to have all his energy for the Highlands tomorrow. Simon. Hmm? Are we going to make it in time for Brian? We've got to. I know, but will we? If we take the direct route, yeah. What's that? Kind of a... I don't know. A what? Candy bar. Smooth, creamy, Dutch chocolate. Kind of melts in your mouth. Thick chewy caramel, and a thin layer of uh, butterscotch. Alex, do you think I could... Um... How could you be so cruel? Candy sweet, but not as sweet as sweet revenge.
want everything of value loaded on the helicopter as soon as possible. You Douglas? Douglas and the Indians will be victims of another tragic quest for El Dorado. The lost city will remain forever a legend. Vaya! Simon, don't worry. Alex and I will find out what's going on. No, nope, I'm responsible for bringing you here. I'll go. And we're responsible for you. You'll stay here. We've come this far together. Look, I've just about had it up to here with you. Now, either you stay here, or I plant you here. Alex, calm yourself. Simon, we know how much this means to you. Just let us handle this our way. We will signal you if it's safe. And if it's not. We survived your cooking. We ought to be able to handle this. Stay put. This is your own past, Ray. You're desecrating your own history! Oye, investigue lo que pasa por allá, fíjese, vaya. I am Ricardo Ray. I'm president of Ray Soul. I hire Mr. Wayne. He works for me. Everything found here is legally mine. You always tie up your employees? Take a good look, Ray. This and everything on that helicopter is going to the National Museum, where it belongs, where we agreed it would go. You say that stuff belongs to you? Fine. Take it. We don't care. We just came to bring Douglas here back to the stage. You see, his family's got... Silence! My family? What, what's happened? What's that? I don't know!
Tell me these are evasive maneuvers. I've only blown a helicopter once. Give me a break. You're doing great. Really, good job. We've got to get Simon. You know what? Who that was? Yeah. Where is he? Did you see him? He sank underwater and didn't come up. Oh, my God. Look. The Earth has its natural noises, you know, the oceans crashing, volcanoes rumbling. I just gave it a bit of feedback and turned up the volume. Yeah. Uh, Simon, you rose right out of the water. You just floated there above it. How? I need to know. Well, that was something I picked up from a guy in Tibet. Now, Darcy, let's radio the local authorities. Mr. Wayne for an HLA blood match, then prep for marrow aspiration. Brian. Brian. Remember, you and me, we're the new Wright brothers, Brian. We can do anything our minds can imagine, anything. Believe me. Talks. He wants to know how you're doing. Uh, I'm doing better, thank you. How are you? Only in this box. I'd feel much better if you picked me up. Mm, I love being hooked. Now, Brian, you look after him. Teach him well. He loves to learn. And as soon as you're feeling better, bring him over to my place. We'll have a real special picnic. I hear your mum cooks some pretty good pies. And Darcy cooks wonderful chicken. Jack and I can provide the entertainment, and Alex can, uh... Well, Alex can, uh... Well, what does Alex do? Well, I, uh... I keep magic alive. 
Indirectly. Diamond, I did it! I got puff foam under control, and I got the perfect packaging for it. Looks like an egg, right? Watch what happens when I put it in water. Stop. Why you got wires sticking out your sleeve? Oh, it's just a new look. No, they're battery wires. It's just a new fashion. Simon says stop. Why are you connected to batteries? Why? Debbie Snow. Well, everybody wants to go out with her, so I have to do something to get her attention. I shudder to think what? Simon, what does a woman feel when a guy turns her on? All tingly, right? Tingles up and down her spine, across the back of her neck, down her... I get the picture. <laughs> well, all I have to do is find a way to get my arms around her. She completes the circuit and zap. Instant tingles. Sounds very creative to me. Creativity's contagious. I caught it from you. Help me come up with puff on. <laughs> Duck. Yeah. No, 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 no. Duck. Bubble. Oh, duck. Very good. Huh, huh, huh? Great, isn't it? <laughs> duck. I'm proud of you, Jack. To you, Jagger. If I hadn't met you, I wouldn't be here now. Alex Darcy, come up here quick. We have a problem. It's all right. Don't panic. I'm on top of the situation. Next on The Wizard. At last, I have McKay's life in my... On The Wizard. At last, I have McKay's...